13. In this question, we're dealing with the dilation of a line segment about a point that is not the origin. Okay? So it reads, on the graph below, point A, 3, 4, and segment BC with coordinates um, 4, 3, and C, uh, 2, 1, are graphed. So we have it here, the point and segment BC. Question, what are the coordinates of B prime and C prime after segment BC undergoes a dilation centered at point A with a scale factor of 2? All right, so there are two ways we can solve this problem. We can do it graphically and we can do it arithmetically, okay? I will show you both ways of doing it and then on the exam you can pick whichever method you like to solve this problem. Let's start with the easier one which is a graphical approach. So what we're going to do is we're trying to dilate this segment about this point right here. Okay. The goal is to um, cause the resulting figure to be twice as, lar as long as this. So all we need to do is basically look at the um, the growth triangle okay the slope triangle to be specific uh, for a B you fall one and you run one okay from A to C you fall three and you run one all you simply have to do is double these growth triangles or slope triangles and you end up with uh, the endpoints of the uh, segment C prime B prime okay all right so let's start with a B from A to B, you go down 1 and over 1. So if you want to get to B prime, guess what? You go down 2 and over 2. This point right here, let me switch it, switch my colors. This point right here is going to be point B prime. Okay, dilation um, by a skill factor of 2. You're dilating this point from this point in such a way that um, it's going to be twice as long. Okay. So that take, takes you right there. So A straight through B. That's B prime. Now where is C prime going to be? Before we do that, let's write down the coordinates of B prime. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, comma, 2. So for C prime, you go down 3 and over 1 to get to C. So if you want to get to um, C prime, you do double that. Okay, so instead of going down three, you go down six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You go down six. And then instead of going over one to get to C for C prime, you go twice as long, one, two. That will take you right there to C prime. And you see the dilation here of this segment through C by a factor of 2 takes you to C prime. Okay, so the segment that we are looking for, segment C prime B prime, is defined by this segment right here. Coordinates of uh, point C prime is, let's see, 1, comma, negative 2. And as you can see, our answer is option number one. Okay, so let's say we don't have a graph or we want to do this um, using arithmetic. Let me show you the formula that you can use to accomplish the same results. Okay, so um, formula for dilation. So if, um, if we have a point, um, let's say we have the point AB Okay, so let's call it P. If point P, which is AB, if it is dilated at um, a point, dilated centered at a point um, XY with a skill factor uh, K, then the resulting point P prime is going to be given by you do the x's first okay so for the x's you do scale factor k times a minus x plus x <coughs> and then for b 
you know, the skill factor k times uh, b minus y plus y. Alrighty? So let's go ahead and do it. Um, our x, y will remain the same. So x comma y is going to be the point that the dilation is centered about, which is basically point A, and that is um, 3. Oh, wait a minute. So A, B, X, Y is going to be 1, 2, yeah, 3, 4. Okay, now let's start with point B. We want to dilate point B um, to get B prime. So to get um, B prime, we'll start by writing down what point B is. So point B um, is 4 comma 3. So that tells us that this is going to be our A and B. Okay? So B prime was dilating 4, 3 by a factor of 2. So K is 2 centered at 3, 4. So applying this formula that we have up here, we have the skill factor K, which is 2 times A minus X. So 4 minus 3 plus X plus 3. And then for the Y coordinate, the K again times A minus the Y. So it's 3 minus Y, 4 plus Y. Okay, now we'll just use the order of operations to simplify this. So we have um, 2 times 4 minus 3 as 1 plus 3, comma 2 times 3 minus 4 as negative 1 plus 4. Simplify that. We have 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. And then 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 4 is 2. So B prime is 5, 2, as you can see here. Now let's do the next um, point, point uh, C prime. So first of all, let's indicate where we are starting from, point C. C is 2, comma 1. So this is going to be our A and B for the formula. C prime, using the formula, is K. Skill factor is 2 times um, a minus x. So it's going to be 2 minus 3 plus x plus 3. That's for the x coordinate. For the y coordinate, we have k again times b, which is 1 minus uh, y, which is 4 plus y. OK, just following these formulas here. And let's use the order of operations to um, simplify this, okay? So we have um, 2 times 2 minus 3 is negative 1 plus 3, comma 2 negative 1 times f minus, I mean 1 minus 4 is negative 3 plus 4. Okay, now simplifying further, we have negative 2 plus 3 comma negative 6 plus 4 final answer is going to be 1 comma negative 2 for C prime and we see that um, these two results we got with our arithmetic approach matches what we have here when we did it graphically so we have confirmation that the answer to question 13 is option number 